Once you have successfully logged into D2L, you are now at My Home of D2L. By clicking on this My Home link, you will return to this page anytime you are in D2L. There's a series of links at the very top of My Home, including the email link, locker link, calendar, chat, and help. The email link is where you can access your inbox and your sent mail. The locker feature of D2L is phasing out, so I'm not going to cover the locker. The calendar is where you could click to access your instructor's assignments. However, some instructors don't use the calendar, and not every assignment is going to appear up on the calendar. Some instructors will use the chat tool, and you will access it here. However, at this time, not many instructors will be using that, so you'll just want to see if your particular class is using chat or not. The help link is generic D2L help, like glossary terms and that type of thing. In the upper right corner, if you have an envelope appear, that means you have new mail. And to access your new mail, you would double click on this envelope icon. If you get a page, this is the page icon, and an incoming page will show up with a little orange starburst in the upper left-hand corner, and your computer is going to beep. That means you have an incoming page. Down below, you'll find some widgets. Over to the left, my settings. This is where you can go into preferences and change the appearance of your D2L page. Go in and change the sound of your pager and even mute it if you chose. The home page link is where you can link to a personal home page and have that show up so other students can check out your home page. The profile link is where you can go in and upload a picture like I did here and you can also include a little personal information. Use caution and don't put more information than you want to share with all of the students on campus. There's also a locker link, but since we're phasing this feature out, I'm not going to talk about the locker link in this orientation. The events widget directly beneath the My Settings widget pulls directly from the calendar on the top navigation bar, and just like all of your assignments are not going to show on the calendar. All of the assignments are not going to show up in events. So use it as a tool to help remind you that assignments are due, but don't rely on the events 100% that everything will show up here because not all of your assignments are going to show up under events. If you look over to the far right, you will see other resources. We just have these as helpful, convenient links for you to access while you're in D2L. In the center, you'll find the news. The news on the My Home page is coming from our office. This is news for faculty as well as students, and we will post messages here to broadcast news such as if D2L is going down, and we want to get that message out to as many users as we can, we will post it here. This is where I also embedded the first orientation video. There will be a series of videos as you work through this online orientation, so please follow the directions and when it tells you to click on another link, go ahead and click on that link. Probably the most important widget of all is the My Courses widget and this is where you will find your course links. I have here a D2L student resource course and this is the link that you will click on to continue through the orientation. If you do not see the D2L student resource course, then you will need to go up to the self-registration link, click through that, and then work your way through adding the D2L student resource course. Now I want to add that as instructors create the courses and activate them, they will start showing up under your My Courses. If your course link does not appear by the first day of class, then you want to give us a call. Now please click on the D2L student resource course and you will find your second video in the news section of My Courses. Thank you.